welcome to my tutorial. I will show you how to make a wild love sound, and it also sounds like Bunny Bear. Who we all want to be, but we're insecure and make EDM. Check, check the mic one, two. Hi there, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, I'm going to show you quickly how to make a sound similar to the one in Cashmere Cat's uh, Wild Love featuring The Weeknd. It also sounds like a lot of Bon Iver's uh, recent album and Francis and the Lights has a similar tonality, some of his vocal processing. Um, cool, so I'm gonna delete this and start fresh. Command Shift T opens a new MIDI channel. Command T opens a new audio channel. And make sure this is on auto so it is in the monitor and the plugin i found that really helps make this sound is isotope nectar 2. it's a free plugin on any torrent website oh sorry i lost you for a second because i dropped that on the wrong channel right there okay there's a lot of other plugins that can help get the sound as well. I know Antares has their Harmony Engine one um, that can be, you can manipulate the incoming audio source via MIDI and that's basically what you're doing with the guys at Hope Nectar. Cool, so let's open it up. And just to be timely, let's select a preset. Um, I personally like Indie Folk and Sons. That's what we are, indie folk and sons of them. Okay, and the main attribute to this sound is found in the harmony tab. Hit this button to enable this and hit MIDI control as well as solo voices. Um, hitting MIDI control is enabling this sound to be manipulated by the outside MIDI source, your keyboard. Um, solo voices is going to allow only the process signal to come through as opposed to the dry input, like the voice you're recording that, you know, is in that pitch. Um, I'm just going to fix the panning a little bit. Sometimes it's a little too wide there and turn it up just because there's no, again, dry signal on top of this. It's purely the manipulated sound. I'm also going to boost this a little bit just so I can hear myself better. Um, that's really about it. If you go into the pitch tab, you can enable, or you can kind of mess with the formant tab. It's going to give you, you know, a, a, it just sounds cool. Just try it. Um, and down here where it says MIDI, where it says MIDI 2, hit this envelope and select three audio, which is the channel I have Isotope Nectar 2 on. It automatically went to Isotope Nectar 2, but if it didn't already, there should be another drop down menu where you can select that. That means this MIDI information from this blank MIDI channel is going into that plugin. It's the same way you would set up like a, um, what are those called? Why am I blanking? Vocoder, duh, what the fuck? Um, yeah, that is really it. Uh, to arm two, two channels at once, you're gonna hold command while clicking record. So once I click on the MIDI channel, I'll hold command and also hit record on the audio channel so that both can be recording at the same time. I'll do that now. Oh, we were back when I speak. In this song, oh, that's a wrong note. And clearly, it doesn't sound exactly like Wild Love. That's because 
I don't have the weekend's voice. And I'm not sure if it's the weekend singing into the vocoded sound on that record. It may be Francis and the Lights because I believe they work closely together. Um, but anyway, yeah, the signal is going to change quite a bit. Um, and I've also noticed that changing the character of your voice, whether you're humming or you have this full open voice, is going to drastically change the sound coming out of the the audio audio channel. So try that. Try even be a little a little bit silly and just make strange mouth movements, and you'll get very different sounds. Let me just try some stuff now. Um. That's all the information I have to share with you about that sound for right now. Drop a comment if I suck or if you learned something. And thanks for watching. Until next time. I'm Ty Lopez. <laughs>